Stan Gibalisco here with a little bit of a silly picture for you but a rather serious topic graceful degradation in this case graceful degradation of a utility power system uh, well what's going to happen if we have a power failure for an extended period of time thunderstorms or other summer storms winter storms those are the most common causes there are others uh, but um, suppose we have a power failure for anywhere from a few hours to maybe a few days. Well, the first thing that I have in my repertoire of backup systems is a generator. It's just a small Honda generator called the EU2000i, which will supply my uh, ham radio equipment, my computers, it'll run my um, internet uh, devices, my telephone, cordless telephone, and, and a bunch of lights in the house for quite a long time because all of those things combined take up very little electricity. So the with a little bit of a gasoline supply, I'm good to go for a while, except for one problem. What if that generator doesn't work? Well, it's in the shop right now, and if we had a thunderstorm right now, I'd kind of be out of luck. I have an uninterruptible power supply to keep um, the computers from crashing, the modems from crashing, and things like that for a few minutes. But that's it. So what am I going to do in a case like that? The generator won't work, or uh, some other eventuality. It quits working, or it's not available. Well... I have something else that I just installed uh, in my vehicle, and that is an inverter. That will supply what I call the core essentials of my home uh, repertoire of electronics. The modems, or the modem, well, the, com the uh, internet modem, the telephone modem, the router, one light, one lamp, so I'm not totally in the dark, and then also it will supply, uh, it will charge my equipment, uh, my iPad, my notebook, uh, computer, uh, Nook tablet, Kindle Fire, things like that, so that at least I can stay on the internet and have a telephone and have a little bit of light. In addition to that, I also have a new gas stove, which requires no electricity whatsoever. It will continue to operate without any electricity, as will the wood stove. So, I'm not going to have to be cold, I'm not going to have to dwell in the dark, and I'm not going to have to remain out of contact with the world if we have six feet of snow and it takes them a week to get the power back. Well, a week is a stretch because I do have to uh, run the vehicle in order to make that inverter work and I do have to have gasoline for the generator. But of course, no matter how much you uh, create a sophisticated system, there's always an event possible which will defeat it. You just have to figure out what is the appropriate level of graceful degradation for your system so that it'll be a while before you're in the dark, cold, and starving to death. Stan Gibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.